Okay guys, new huge update just released today and I'm just here to look at what's new in the game and give you guys and show you guys you know what we have to work with. Alright, I think this is probably the end of season 3 because we get the final chapter in this one and um, usually like every season we just get 3 chapters and I think that's what they had in their roadmap as well. Maybe down the line we get like another little interesting update with some interesting stuff. Maybe new weapons or maybe some more you know secret characters coming in the game or whatever. But um, we're just going to quickly go over what's new and then I'll tell you the plan that we have planned for you know the rest of August, September and the coming October all right so we now have the final chapter of season three which is the ret return to hell all right and I think I was talking to someone in the comment section the other day after we did Abaddon Asylum you know at the end where you and uh, the Duke Umbra right after you killed him you got sucked into some dimension or something and I mean like my someone asked me like what do you think who do you think is behind all of this, right? And my answer was the devil. So now we're going to hell, all right? So this is the final chapter, and there is only one chapter, all right? And with these new chapters, we know that they're really huge. So probably we'll have this going for like a 40-minute or an hour run, especially on Brutal Nightmare. That's probably going to take forever, but we'll see how that go, all right? So the next thing we're going to look at is if we got any new weapons. And I don't think we got a new rifle, but I'm pretty sure we got a new pistol. Alright. Uh, the MP1940. I still have this gun to upgrade and maybe make a video on, but I just haven't gotten the time to do it as well. We now have the new flare gun. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty curious to see how this works, really. It does look interesting, but the thing is, I'm actually wondering if it's actually going to work like the mortar shotgun. Um, where, you know, you can decimate hordes of zombies. I mean, like, the Webley is and will always be my favorite gun, but you know you're actually going to see a video with this gun. on brutal Nightmare to see <laughs> just what it can do, alright? So, let's see, a small increase in damage and area of effect. Uh, uh, further in AOE, let's see. Modified flare detonates when fuse burns out instead of an impact. Small increase in damage. And then flare carries explosive rather than incendiary payload. Increase dismemberment chance. Yeah, I'm really curious to see how this weapon works. We got a recoil mod. Recoil on a flare, flare gun? I don't think that's... I don't think a flare gun is really hard to operate now, is it? And we have a scope. A scope. Now that's and now now that's something that I'm really. <laughs> the thing is, how many shots does it hold? Though it only holds one. But why would we need a scope to shoot with it? Flame bayonet. I can understand the bayonet, but the scope is pretty odd. Uh, reload speed. Reload speed. And it, it goes all the way to level three. Reload speed. It's only one shot, right? Cluster flare. Fires a cluster of three flares, uh, covering a wider area of the expense. Wider area at the expense of precision accuracy. Now, the thing is, there's another thing that just came to mind. You know how we have the... The... That, what do you call it? The utility item, right? The flare gun. Uh, where when you shoot that, you get, you know, cluster bombs coming down from out of the air. I mean, like, I can understand if we use this, we shoot it and it explodes or something, but if it worked more like that utility item, I would understand, right? It's kind of it's kind of odd, but I'm actually going to wait until I actually use this to, before I have anything else to say about it. Now, this actually looks sick. The chrome or platinum look. And then we have the pirate pistol. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. I can say one thing for sure. These guys always make some really clean skins. And then we have the firework, you know, um, the American style. Um, for charms, I think we got new charms as well. We have the chainsaw, hammer and stick, <laughs> like Van Helsing. I think we got some Van Helsing skins as well. I think I saw something like that. Um, gold hexagram. This is for my boy pentagrams. <laughs> These guys are always giving you some really 
um, awesome pentagram stuff. And then we have the creepy clown horn. The you know what would be nice if we added this to our weapon and like when we move around it makes a sound, a creepy sound. No, oh, that would be something really interesting. And we can actually take a look at these on our weapon. So that's pretty small. Still nice though. Doesn't change. The hexagrams are or the pentagrams are always nice. I mean I can always appreciate them. Even though like when you're in the game using your gun, you never see them. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some of you guys have the eye to, to or, or you guys keep an eye out for this type of stuff, but in the game, like I'd never see this these um things on my weapon. It's like I I just don't have the the sixth sense of paying attention to um charms i guess yeah but that's actually the flare gun um i think we got some new weapon skins let me just check real quick and we do so we have the van helsing skin the elemental or is it the same elemental from the last time on the zombie tank? Well, I know the zombie tank and the elemental has been around for a while, but the Van Helsing skin is actually the new one. I mean, like, it's pretty um, horrible that we can't have these on our DLC weapons, but I guess it's, it's fine. I mean, like, it would make me change around my skins on my DLC weapons a lot more, but I guess it's fine. Yeah, so we can only have these on our um, base weapons. The Helsing skin. Elemental. And um, the zombie tank. So the elemental, it actually changes color depending on the weapon you have it on. I think this is what? Explosive rounds on this one? Oh, it's actually the um, incendiary rounds. Haven't used that in a while. Yeah, and it gives you the color based... I didn't really look at this. It's actually pretty neat. Because the color changes depending. This is an explosive weapon. So let's see. It changes depending on the element the weapon uses. This is yellow for explosions. Yeah, I think that should be it. Let's check out what's going on for the characters. I'm pretty sure we got some new head pieces and we also got the left 4 dead two characters so we have coach we have Ellis Nick and Rochelle <laughs> yeah so you guys know I'm definitely gonna be playing Rochelle <laughs> I'm just joking well yeah I am going to be playing Rochelle I'll play one I'll play each one of these characters in one video when we get back to our brutal nightmare run but i'll definitely be playing rochelle maybe on sunday yeah you can guys uh yeah all right so let's check out the the new headgears that we got let's use my june let's see World War Two. These I didn't I didn't download these from the last time. So we have the doll face, and these are you know some. Uh, it, these are some really. What should I say? These hats or these headpieces. They come from a really dark place. I should say. Like if you guys are like fan of scary movies, you should see these at least once at some point. Sack head mask. I've seen this recently in a, a movie that I, that I watched on Netflix. I think it's called Fear Street or something, but I can't remember. But that guy was pretty crazy. He does like chops up people with an axe or something. So we have the zombie skin mask. That's pretty gross. I wouldn't put that on my um, June. And we have the zombie skull mask. Yeah. I am not sure if there is anything else. I think that should be everything. Um, but if I didn't cover everything, you guys should just, you know, let me know what else is there in the comment section down below. And, you know, we can probably, like, look at it and discuss it or something. So apart from that, let's talk about the plan, right? So the plan remains the same. We are going to continue our uh, Brutal Nightmare run. We have the Season 2 chapters to do, which is Damnation Valley, Alpine Blitz, and Dead Zeppelin. We're going to do these. Each one of these is like, what, 
I think it's like th four chapters. Oh, that's a lot. All right, so it's actually four chapters. I thought it was less for some reason. So this is like 12 videos. That's like three weeks worth of content. And you guys should expect to see that around the end of August or September, early September. For Return to Hell, we are going to do this on Sunday. This Sunday, we're going to do this. It's going to be a full video, right? And we're going to be doing it on Brutal Nightmare. I'm actually going to play through on, you know, easy first and see what it's like. And then um, I'll see if I can get a video ready by Sunday so you guys can chill and get some popcorn and stuff <laughs> and just enjoy the gameplay, all right? Um, but apart from that, I won't be able to do any more zombie armor videos until maybe like August, the end of August and early September. Because, let's see. On the 5th, we are going to get the beta for uh, Back for Blood. And I think we're going to get like two chapters. We're going to get some uh, swarm mode. I think that's the multiplayer section. Uh, we're probably going to be looking at one video a day. And I think it's going to be it's going to last like a week. I think it's from the 5th to the 16th. I'm probably going to be playing on the 5th because I do have early access. Um so yeah i will be going over that and then immediately after we're done with back for blood we're going to come back and we're going to do each one of these um chapters going all the way to dead zeppelin and then we'll be done with zombie army for at least until we get new content but return to hell we are going to be playing this on sunday all right guys so that's it for me thank you all for stopping by and do have a great day